नेक्स्ट टू फॉर्म एन इक्वेशन हो रूट्स आर प्लस बाय एच देन द रूट्स अल्फा वन अल्फा टू एक्सट्रा अल्फा वन ऑफ द गिवन इक्वेशन एफ ऑफ एक्स दैट इक्वेशन गिव्स नंबर वन एफ ऑफ एक्स हैज रूट्स अल्फा वन अल्फा टू एक्सट्रा अल्फा एन दैट आर द वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स to find an equation whose roots are less by h than these roots that is to find an equation whose roots are alpha 1 minus h alpha 2 minus h etc alpha n minus h therefore we take y is equal to x minus h <coughs> because when x takes the values alpha 1 alpha 2 etc alpha n y takes the values alpha 1 minus h alpha 2 minus h etc alpha n minus h so an equation in y is a required equation y equals x minus h implies x is equal to y plus h we substitute for x y plus h in the given equation that is f of x becomes f of y plus h equal to a0 is zero y plus h raised to n a0 x station is is zero y plus h raised to n a1 x raised to n minus one is y plus h raised to n minus one plus etc a n minus one x is a n minus one y plus a y plus h plus a n equal to zero. Okay. Now we have to expand this y plus h all raised to n y plus h all raised to n minus one etc using binomial expansion. And then to simplify it, that is, we have to write the terms y raised to n. Then the terms y raised to n minus one, etc. That is to find the coefficients of y raised to n, y raised to n minus one, etc. is difficult here. So we are assuming that coefficient says b zero y raised to n plus b one y raised to n minus one plus etc. b n minus one y plus b n equal to zero. Where this b zero, b one, etc., b n are unknown at present. But this b zero, b one, etc., b n can be found uh, very easily by some method. Now we replace again this y by x minus h. We replace here y by x minus h. You know what happens? Equation becomes b zero x minus h raised to n plus b one x minus h raised to n minus one plus etc. b n minus one into x minus h plus b n. That is, this is an equation in x. The given equation is also in x. Therefore, this equation is equivalent to or same, identical as the given equation. Therefore, we Represent this equation by f of x. It is f of x equal to b zero x minus h raised to n plus b one x minus h raised to n minus one plus etc. plus b n minus one x into x minus h plus b n. Okay, we are taking x minus h outside from all the times except the last b n, and that is f of x equal to x minus h into some bracket there plus b n outside. Okay. Then you see this twenty five equal to seven into three plus four. Then what is what is meaning? That is four is a remainder when twenty five is divided by seven. Similar expression is here. F of x equal to x minus h into that bracket a polynomial plus b n. That means b n is a remainder when f of x is divided by X minus h. Thus, we got that b n. We get b n by by what is b n? B n is a remainder when f of x is divided by x minus h. Again, we take the quotient here. Quotient is the expression in the bracket. Uh, that quotient can be written as b zero x minus h raised to n minus one x plus b one x minus h raised to n minus two plus extra b n minus one. Again. Can be written as by taking x minus h 
common from all terms except the last we are getting that is equal to x minus h into some bracket there plus b n minus 1 last. Again that is again in that form uh, some polynomial equals x minus h into some another polynomial plus b n minus 1. That means again by the similar argument b n minus 1 is a remainder obtained when this quotient is divided by x minus h. b n minus 1 is a remainder. But the, that quotient is obtained when f of x divided by x minus h. That is when f of x is divided by x minus h, we get a quotient. Then that quotient is again divided by x minus h, we get a remainder b n minus 1. Therefore, we can see that this b n minus 1 is a remainder when f of x is divided by x minus h two times. Thus, we have these remainders bn, bn minus 1, bn minus two, etc., b2, b1 are the remainders obtained when f of x divided by x minus h successively n times. That is, bn is the remainder when f of x divided by x minus h. bn minus 1 is the remainder when f of x divided by x minus h two times. B n minus 2 is a remainder when x, f of x is divided by x minus h three times successively, etc. Going on. And last B0 is the last quotient in this division process. What is the division process here? We are dividing f of x by x minus h repeatedly, successively. First we divide by x minus h, then we will get a quotient. We divide that quotient again by f x minus h, we will get another quotient. Again divide that x minus h, uh, that quotient by x minus h and going on. That is the method. In each step we will have a uh, remainder. That remainders are the, are respectively b n, b n minus 1, etc. b 1 and the last b 0 is the last quotient in the division process. Then our required equation v0 v0 y ration plus v1 y ration minus 1 plus etc plus bn minus 1 y plus bn equal to 0 is obtained. Okay. This repeated division by x minus h can be performed in a single step by using the method of det detached coefficients. That can be explained in the problem. Okay. One thing to be noted that uh, roots increased by h equivalent to roots decreased by minus h. We have the method discussed when the roots are less by h or decreased by h. Therefore, when the question is to increase by h, we convert that into decrease by minus h. Okay. 